Hello again, everybody. It's the Reverend Jay Goldstein, and welcome to another episode of Activities. And today's activity is going to be the Dojet Tool Party Set. Here it is from our new friends at Shiluen. And I think that means, I think that's French for the, uh, the bright dog or something like that. I'm not sure. But this is the Dojet Tool Party Set, and this is what we're going to be active with today. You can see all the little parts. You got the uh, dough, you got the jet tool, you got things to press out the dough with. It's going to be a regular party. And if you're going to have a party, this is the dough jet tool you want because it is, in fact, the party set. Information on the back, I scanned it all so you can just look at it yourself right now. And we're back. So let's play now with the Jet Tool Party Set. And it's a dough Jet Tool Party Set. We know that because it has this dough here. <laughs> and the whole set was $1.29, so I'm really expecting to get my money's worth. So let's open up the package and destroy its collectible value. Let's find the uh, plastic edge here that we open these things by. And uh, here we go. You got some dough, blue dough, you got yellow dough, and then we have all these pieces here. We have the famous jet tool. We have a knife, suitable for children three and under. And then we have some, uh, some little forms here to make a, what is this, a bird? to make a tree and to make a, a butterfly. That's all very nice. And there's a little plate to work on. Oh, and oh, a ducky. Uh, I'd like to just pay quick attention here to the horrible artwork. I am sorry. I know somebody, some professional artist out there did not get the job of doing this in lieu of somebody's Oh gosh, I'm going to have to say six-year-old child who drew these. I'm going to say untalented six-year-old child because there are six-year-old children who can do far better than this rabbit. Oh boy. Uh, anyway, let's take a look at what we have and let's play with the jet tool. Now that I've criticized the marketing department of our new friends at Shiluen. And here we go. Well, first thing I think we have to do is just kind of set out this little workstation. Because if you read the back of the package, you know that all dyes can stain. And this has dyes in it, so it can stain. Which is why we have our protective dish towel down. So let's take a look at this. The uh, blue dough under its protective wrapping to make sure that it's absolutely fresh. As fresh as can be. And... Um, I think that's what the knife is for, to open up the packaging. Yep. And get this off here. Ooh. It... Oh, it does not smell like Play-Doh. You know how Play-Doh has that really pleasant kind of yeasty... Oh, my gosh. Ugh. It smells like... Uh, I, it just smells like chemicals. It just smells really kind of awful and terrible. But let's pull it out of its package here and this is the blue color I'd like to point out just uh, I don't know if we can see on camera yeah you can see this is just uh, that is the color blue to them uh, fortunately the yellow is going to be so much better it's going to be just a bright happy yellow really suitable for a party it is not it is mustard yellow get out our uh, tool there and here is the yellow and when I said mustard yellow I really mean this is really mustard yellow you could put this on a hot dog somebody could be fooled into choking to death on this oh my goodness so how does it feel well it's um, you know how when you kind of twist and pull Play-Doh, it's a little bit flaky and stuff? It's not really like that. It's not really as just a little wetter than Play-Doh. 
and presu I was going to get real excited about, hey, let's put the yellow and the blue together and make green, but it's actually, let's make the yellow and the, the green together and make a different color yellow, I guess, is what it is. But that's not what we're here for. We are here for the jet tool. And so what we're going to do, and this is a good toy if uh, you want to train your kids to be a, a nurse or a phlebotomist or a, a heroin addict or something. Let's see here. What we want to do is you want to take some of this dough, some of the yellow dough, and put it in here like that. Let's not be stingy. It's not like we're going to be using this for ever. It's not going to be our standard go-to crafting thing here, so let us first try to extrude the uh, the dough through the jet tool here and see what happens. We're extruding, we're making a, uh, well I guess what we've made here is um, a large tube of goo and some small threads of goo. You can see here that the uh, the nozzle has all these tiny little tips. They do nothing. Nothing comes out of them. Unless I didn't put enough dough in. Let's really pack this with dough. Because I think that's what you're supposed to do anyway, right? Really pack this all full of dough. A bunch of yellow and a bunch of blue. <laughs> all right. And let's see if we can't really get that to come out. And in fact, for all of you at home with your 3D glasses, this is going to be especially fun. So let's see. Go! Extrude! Jet tool extrude. It is... Eh. That's kind of fun. Made like a little snake. Made a uh, Cthulhu. Um, so I guess the other thing that we can do here is that we can place this out on this plate. Like this and press it into an animal. And we're going to make the ducky, as you can see here. And this is using standard cookie cutter technology. It should work. We should actually get a little ducky here, which we did. Look at that. We actually made a little ducky first try. And for those of you who watch my videos, you know that that is not always the case. I want to say that actually looks kind of cool. That with all the uh, gross finger staining mess that is the uh, uh, dough jet tool play uh, party set it actually does make a fine ducky and um, I'm guessing it makes a decent butterfly and bird and all that. Let's, let's make the butterfly real quick since I think that's really the uh, that's what really everybody came here to say they wanted to see the uh, butterfly and that pops up pretty quickly and pretty nicely. You know, as cheap and as horrible as this toy is, the actual product here, maybe it's just such t simple technology that you can't mess it up, you actually do wind up with some nice little uh, doodads here as you're playing with it. I'm not exactly sure how big a party this would entertain though. Uh, maybe, you know, one or two kids tops. Or maybe you have to get lots and loads and loads of party sets. And at a dollar twenty-nine, why not? So the one thing I guess we have left to do is there is, um, I'm going to take all of our putty here, all of our dough, and put it down here. And what we're going to do is we're going to stamp it because the tops of the dough containers are also little pressy stamps. I'm going to see what happens here. And as we do that, I'm going to remind you that if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, the share buttons. Just do something, please. <laughs> Gosh, get off your asses, people. Um, and it makes that little print there. Um, also, uh, come back. There'll be more videos. I hope you enjoyed it. It's Reverend Jay Goldstein. Ta-da!